for your Baymax? <laughs> yep, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, this is the Disney All Bros Showdown mini episode that we said we were going to do. So this is more on. Disney and Pixar. Works for me. So we're going to go through this list. So the movies that we have are on the Disney side are Lion King versus Tarzan, Princess and the Frog versus Lilo and Stitch, Tangled versus Big Hero 6, Frozen versus Moana, Aladdin versus Hercules, Little Mermaid versus Pocahontas, Mulan versus Zootopia, Beauty and the Beast versus Nightmare Before Christmas, and then on the Pixar side, we have Up versus Brave, Toy Story versus Toy Story 2, Coco versus Cars 3, Toy Story 3 versus Good Dinosaur, Ratatouille versus Bugs Life, Finding Nemo versus Inside Out, Monsters Incorporated versus Cars, The Incredibles versus Wally, and then the one that we added, Monsters University versus Finding Dory. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's get started with that. Let's start with the Disney side. Do Lion King versus Tarzan. Alright, I'm going with Lion King. Are you? Yeah. Gosh damn it. Dude, we can't agree on shit. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we cannot. Dude, I'm I grew up, I've seen like Tarzan probably like twice in my lifetime. I've seen Lion King over ten times. I love the Lion I'm King. I'm opposite. Really? I mean, I've, I've only seen... I've seen... Both of them a handful of times, okay. but the thing that stands out with Tarzan is the soundtrack, because I don't think to date, Tarzan had or Disney or Pixar has released a movie that's beaten the Tarzan soundtrack. But overall story, I, I'd give it to Lion King. Okay. So. Um, you have heard uh, Akuna Matata, right? Yeah, but I'm, I'm talking overall soundtrack. Oh, okay. In total, there's not a single song from the Tarzan soundtrack that I don't like. Okay. But in every other Disney and Pixar movie, there's at least one song I dislike. Wow. Just at least, like Moana? Yeah. I know we're not talking about Moana <laughs> yet, but Moana is a super close second if it wasn't for that damn shell crab song yeah. if they would have gotten rid of that or changed the song oh, yeah. i've been like Ugh. <laughs> yeah but versus the tarzan soundtrack it doesn't compare okay fair enough i still go with lion king i'm gonna go lion king too for overall story because i feel yeah, like i'm boy. giving tarzan a little too much credit for the soundtrack yeah boy so lion king wins that round now we got Princess and the Frog versus Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, no freaking contest. <laughs> I grew up with that movie. Uh, that was mine and my sister's like favorite movie. It's a good movie, dude. Uh, I love movies so much. Um, we got Tangled versus Big Hero Six. This one's a little harder for me, dude. Cause... I'm gonna actually go with Tangled. Really? Yeah. I was leaning more towards Big Hero 6 because they, I think they went a lot of routes that I didn't expect them to. I And I would have to agree, but I don't know. I just... I, don't know, I really liked the story of Tangled and I loved how they portrayed Rapunzel and Finn Rider was excellent. Just I love Tangled so much. But that's just me. Yeah, I'll go with Tangled too. I'm killing it. I'm persuading him so good. <laughs> Frozen versus Moana. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> I know. I'm leaning more towards Moana, though. I just like this story better. Yeah, you know But I think, yeah. the one thing that's got me with Frozen is, is... the freaking plot twist in that with yeah. Hans. I was just like, and what? <laughs> the soundtrack of Frozen is basically perfect. There's no songs I hate. Whereas mm. with Moana, there's the shiny song. Yeah. You've not heard Let It Go way too like many times. Like the overall, so overall story I'm giving to Moana. Okay. Plot twist, I'm giving to Frozen. Yeah. And soundtrack, I'm giving to Frozen. And then characters, I don't know. I just like I the direction know. that they took 
Anna and Elsa. Uh, I'm more leaning towards Frodo. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, and comparing the two side <laughs> by side. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving the I'm yeah. giving it to Frozen. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one. Tangled versus Frozen. I've actually already answered this, and I've told many people. Mm. Aladdin versus Hercules. Aladdin. Hercules. Aladdin. What? Robin Williams. Genie. What the Dude, hell you can't it? give sympathy points for I'm someone not. who's... I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You, you oh, do you're, remember the You are a little bit. Eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Just... Explain yourself. Oh, I love this movie so much. Fine, I'll give it to Hercules. About damn time you agree with me. But Aladdin's so great. It's. I'm not saying it's not. You... All of these movies are good. But no. one's better than another. No. Which one's not good? Oh, wait, sorry, I'm thinking of Pixar. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you, with Aladdin, he basically just wished himself up the life that he has. Mm-hmm. And then he's just like, oh, I lied about it. I'm sorry. Hercules had to work his way up to freaking glory and true. earned his spot true. and then turned it down like a true hero. Okay, okay. Let's take a soothing breath. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mermaid versus Pocahontas. Little Mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, I was I was going to try and make an argument for Pocahontas, but I don't. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> it's not even historically accurate. It's not. It's just kind of like, oh, oh gosh, Pocahontas had a really good life. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. Have you ever seen Adam Ruins Everything? Yes, I have. Have <laughs> you seen the Pocahontas one? Yep. That was I so just funny. Like, oh. It's like, damn, uh, yeah, Disney, you suck at being accurate. Yeah, because they want to portray happiness and love. Yeah. John Smith was kind of an asshole. Mm-hmm. No, he was an asshole. He wasn't kind of one. He was one. Yeah. Until he died of dysentery. <laughs> Thank or goodness. something like that. That's good. <laughs> um... Mulan versus Zootopia. You might hate me for this, but I'm going to say Zootopia. Oh, you son of a bitch. I'm giving it to Mulan. Really? Women power, dude. Sorry, I love Zootopia. It was my favorite movie of 20... Wait, no, sorry. It was my favorite movie of 2016, but it was my second favorite. The story in Mulan is a lot stronger. Okay, but I don't know. I loved how in Zootopia it basically focused... It kind of focused on segregation. With animals. And I thought that was kind of cool. Like, yeah. stereotyping? I don't know. I thought that was very cool. Well, didn't they do that in Milan? Did they? They stare... They, it was like a segregation kind of thing. Women against men. I mean, it's more of a sexism thing. But okay. sexism has a more... Okay, because it's such a Disney classic, I'll give it to Milan. Okay. I don't want your pity. I'm giving you my pity. I'm taking your pity, but I'm Good. not accepting of it. <laughs> Rude. Beauty and the Beast versus Nightmare Before Christmas. This one's hard, dude. This one's very hard. Like, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I do, but Beauty and it, and the But Beast it was like a movie that scarred me. <laughs> I, don't, I think Beauty and the Beast is one of the rare animated films that I think is just practically perfect in every way. Mm-hmm. Just the characters, the story, the animation is just gorgeous. Like, it's in probably my top two, or at least top three of favorite animated films of all time, and I'm going Beauty and the Beast. Dude, a hard one would be Beauty and the Beast against Beauty and the Beast. Wait, the live action versus the animated? Yeah. Seriously, you think that's hard? I'm sorry, animated. Really? I I liked the live action, don't get me wrong, but you can't beat the animated. Are you freaking kidding me, Dude, Albers? there was more depth in the live-action one that I felt was pretty cool. Like, B- Belle teaching Beast how to read. Okay, but one thing... Or not, thought. like, in, like he, he was learning to read in the animated. Yes. He knew, he was educated, he, like, knew every, like, he was, he wasn't dumb. He just needed to learn how to soften up a little bit. Okay, but I'm gonna which point out I liked thing. a lot better than him just being like, I don't know how to read. You have a big ass library and you don't know how to read. I'm gonna point out one thing that you pointed out to me. 
that you didn't hate Gaston in the new one. Luke Evans was really too hard to hate, and he really didn't do anything for you to make him hate him. I mean, yeah, he locked tis up... Tis true, tis true. He <laughs> locked up Bell's father, but... Yeah, I freaking hated the animated Gaston. And that was the point. Okay, I can give this to Beauty and the Beast. But would you give it to the live action or animated? I'll give it to animated. Yes. Because I feel a lot of people would disagree with you, just saying. Yeah. Dude, I feel like I have to change my answers on the the Marvel one we did, just with... I mean, we still would have had the same top three. Yeah. But I have talked to a lot of people, and yeah. they all say Iron Man was better than ha. Thor. I'm like, am I the only one? <laughs> I think you are. So we may have to go back and change that. I mean, it doesn't change anything, but... Dude, with the new Beauty and the Beast, so I saw it with a co-worker, and literally co-worker, and every single time, Belle started singing... He just went like, ugh, because you could totally hear her auto-tuning, and he hated it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. It's like sad when you can hear someone right next to you saying it loud. (laughs) It's like, damn. Damn. All right, Lion King versus Lilo and Stitch. This one's not hard for me. Are you thinking Lilo and Stitch? I'm thinking Lion King. Really? Oh, shit. Uh, like, like if Lion I, King versus Tarzan was hard. Lion King versus Lilo and Stitch is like, not. Like, if you add... I, I don't... Fuck. This sucks, because Lilo and Stitch, like, that's, like, the Disney movie that I grew up with. We like, all grew up with it. No, like, it is, like, a staple in, like, my family. That's, like, your family's movie? Animated-wise. Like, no joke. Um... So you're giving it to Tarzan? Lion sorry, King. Lion King, I'm sorry. No, I did. I tried giving it to Tarzan. <laughs> so, so you're giving this to Lion King? I'm giving King. it to Lion King. At least Lilo and Stitch made it this far. I'll give it to Lion King. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Stitch. <laughs> Alright, Tangled Mommy. versus Frozen. Tangled. Really? Yeah. My initial reactions to give it to Frozen, just because of all, like, there was a lot of humor that I found in Frozen that was just, you wouldn't get it as, like, a kid. I mean, you kind of would, but you wouldn't. No, I get you. Like, with Olaf walking into ice school, he's like, oh, look, I've been impaled. (laughs) (laughs) Like, that made me laugh my yeah. balls off. Yeah. And, I, like, it still gets me. Yeah, me too. There's not a lot of, like, f- super funny moments in Tangled that I, like, can recall. And then, I don't know, the story just stuck with me better with Frozen. I hate you. Frozen? Yeah. Yes. Alright, Hercules versus for Little Sven. Mermaid. That's why I'm doing it. It's for Sven. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Hercules versus Little Mermaid. That's hard. <laughs> both are great animated films. They are. I'm gonna guess you're going with Hercules. I'm actually not. Really? You're going with Little Mermaid? Yeah. Yes! You agree? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then the last one we got on the Disney se- or for the second round, Mulan versus Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. I wish I could say it's not, but it is. All right. Lion King versus Lion King, King versus Frozen. Just because it's such a classic, I don't know, Lion King. We are horrible at coming to agree and agree. I know, but this agreement. is what makes this fun. That's true. I don't know, dude. But it sucks because there has to be one answer. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we need like a third tiebreaker, but. Right? I'm, I'm leaning more towards Frozen. I don't know, like, because. 
I remember, I still can't get Akuna Matata and I can't wait to be king out of my head. Most of the first. Can you get Let It Go out of your head? Yeah, I can. Really? Okay, maybe not. That's because they found it into your freaking head, stupid Disney store. Yeah, no That's shit, stupid. dude. Every time it played, I'm just like, I'm ready to just do. They cut my play, ears off. They even played at Fresh Market during Christmas time. I hate it. <laughs> dude, I'm ready to just set a firecracker off in my ear. I want to throw an apple to someone. That's what I want to do. I mean, Akuna Matata is a good song to get stuck, but which one are you gonna like? Ge- I don't know. I think it's just the annoying factor with... I think that, like, what's more likely to make you break out in the song, and that's Akuna Matata. Is it, though? Yeah. R- really, you're more likely to break out into Let It Go than Akuna Matata? Well, not me personally, but my wife. You personally. Dude, Brielle? No, 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 no. That's not me that's personally? Not... Yeah. Then I'd probably break it out and l- let it go. Really? Yeah. T- girl. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, even I'm Brielle I'm would kidding. agree that she sings along to uh, Frozen quicker than she does Lion King. Dude, I'm sorry. I can't say that Frozen is better than the Lion King. I know. It's rough to say, but... I'm not saying it. <laughs> Dude, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, we are. <sighs> Long live the king. You remember that line? If only there was someone else that loved you. Are you shitting me? That had a... You... Okay, we knew from the get-go that Scar was the bad guy. But did you see... Dude, did you see Hans becoming the bad guy at all? Did you see how Simba cried over his dad dying? Okay. Cinema Sins, I watched it on Lion King yesterday, actually. They pointed out a really good fact. Oh, Everything would have been completely figured out if Simba just told the truth. <laughs> but no, he freaking panicked and he's like, <gasps> and ran away. If he would have been like, uh, it really wasn't my fault. <laughs> but he's a little kid. I know he's a little kid, but like, let's face it. Sorry, if... a little lion cub. He's not a kid. Like... It's the same thing with the good dinosaur. The let's, dad okay, did let's... his job. He saved his kid, and he perished in the process. Okay, let's not bring the good dinosaur into this. I know, that but I'm... a piece of shit. I know. I'm just talking, hey. It's a similar situation. <laughs> minus the whole long live the king thrown off. Dude, I'm sorry, I can't say it. I can't say that Frozen is better than The Lion King. Dude. Dude. I'm giving it to Frozen... Because of how good of a villain Hans was, I'm because we didn't ex- we didn't see it coming. We're just like, oh, she's gonna, like the we. I thought the whole premise of the movie was that Anna was gonna go find Elsa, and I'm like, well, there we go. And then when Hans freaking turn on her, I'm like, Ooh. okay, I get that Scar was predictable, but Scar was still an amazing villain. The story was great. He was lazy. Why, because he let the hyenas do all the work? Yeah, That's the much. point. Yeah, but... What what did he have to gain from killing Mufasa? Oh. Other than claiming the title of king, what did he have to gain? That's all he wanted. He didn't have anything else to gain. That's all he wanted. All he... So, why not just be the king of his own area? Because, because the wanted, food sucked? Because he wanted to be Okay, well, he was the king of it all, and all of his people started starving, so he was basically in the exact situation that he was in, in his other place. I'm gonna bring two characters up. Timon and Pumbaa. Olaf and Sven! Timon and Pumbaa. I will give you that Timon and Pumbaa are a little more iconic. Oh, they're better. Way better than Olaf and Sven. Okay. You hush. <laughs> uh, you kiss my ass. <laughs> Dude, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not agreeing that the that Frozen is better than Lion King. Because it's not. 
The Lion King is one of the best Disney movies ever made. Alright, we'll come back to this. Let's just move on to Little Mermaid versus Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> no contest. Alright, we're moving to Pixar. <laughs> And then, if we still can't agree, yeah. we're going to have Brielle come in and s settle the tie. That's not fair. No, it is fair. How is that fair? We all know because she's... she loves these both of these but, movies equally. But I'm pretty sure that she's going to pick Frozen. Well, we'll see. <laughs> if we can't agree, bitch. we need a tiebreaker. Ah, son of a bitch. Alright, Up versus Brave. Up. Yeah. That's no contest. Alright, Toy Story versus Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2, actually. I think it has a better story. Oh my yeah, gosh, Caleb agree. agrees? Wow. Coco versus Cars 3. Not really a contest, Coco. I was going to say Cars 3. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, with the hard on you have for Coco? Shut up. <laughs> hey, but Cars 3 was better than Cars 2. It was almost on par with the first. Okay. It... We discussed this already. It was yeah. it goes Cars, Cars Three, Cars Two. Yeah. Toy Story Three versus Good Dinosaur, not Toy hard. Story, yeah, Toy Story Three. Ratatouille versus Bugs Life. You know, I'm gonna actually have to say Ratatouille. Same. I love Ratatouille. Yeah. I don't know what it was about Bugs Life, but it just bugged me. <laughs> <laughs> Puns. Finding Nemo versus Inside Out. Shit. That's a hard one. This is really hard. Finding Nemo was more of a story of like the lengths that you would go to for your child. Yeah. Inside Out dealt with like a lot of complex emotions. I loved that. And I love the way the way that they portrayed it. Yeah. Because they got rid of, oh, I forgot her name. Riley, is that her name? Yeah, Riley. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I loved how they got rid of happiness and sadness, or happy and sadness. Sadness. It's not happy. That's not joy. Good. Sorry. There you go. Joy and sadness. sadness. I like how they got rid of those two. I agree. And then because just... like that's like an emotion that when you're a teenager and you're like you're just, it's just complicated you don't feel either of those yeah and then it's just so cool to see fear ooh. disgust and anger take the wheel that was very interesting and I, I I thought going into this movie like seeing how like from the trailers and everything that it was going to just be she was just going to act over the top ridiculous yeah and I'm like this is so dumb like one of them is just going to take over, and she's going to be overly angry, overly disgust, like all these different emotions. But when they showed Riley, it wasn't over the top. No, uh -uh. and I was super happy about that. Yeah. Are you going with Inside Out? I think I talked myself into yeah. Inside Out. <laughs> Dude, I love Inside Out so much. I know, but Finding Nemo too. But Inside Out. <laughs> I love Finding Nemo, don't get me wrong, but like, as far as rewatch, I probably like watch Inside Out before I watch Finding Nemo. Same. Alright, Inside Out. Cool. Monsters Incorporated versus Cars. Monsters Incorporated? Oh my gosh, are you seriously going with Cars? I'm, I'm, I'm going with Cars, dude. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Get the hell out <laughs> of here right now! Dude. You Ca liked the cars animation in Cars most... was so freaking beautiful. Boo! And Sully's relationship in Monsters Inc. Yes, it was heartwarming. Mike Wazowski. But... I don't know what else to say to it. <laughs> Monsters Inc. is so much better than Cars. Don't get me wrong, I like Cars. But I'll watch Monsters Inc. all day. Dude, I'd watch Cars all day. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with you? I don't know, apparently a lot. Fine, I'll give you Monsters, Inc. Thank you. I think everyone thanks you. <laughs> I will say, though, 
animation-wise, Cars is better. Do you want to know why? Because Monsters, Inc. came out like three or four years at, before Cars. Whatever. That's, Pixar was still trying to get their leg. That's besides the point. Well, you shouldn't be judging a movie saying, oh, the animation's better, when the other movie came out three or four years before it and animation hadn't gotten that good yet. Okay, there were some good... I can't think of one. I'm looking through this list. I can't. Ratatouille. That came out in 2007. Is that before Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, Monsters, Inc. came out in like 2003. Did Finding Nemo? Finding Nemo came out in... Oh, it's either 02 or 04. I can't remember if it was before or after. So is it newer than Monsters, Inc.? I think so. I won't say What year did Monsters, Inc. come out? Okay, I gotta look this up now. Yeah, Google that shit. <laughs> That way I have a fighting chance, because Bugs Life, that animation was pretty good, too. Yes, Bugs Life, and that came out after Toy Story, so that was in 97? Like, so, yeah, Bugs Life had very good information. Let's see, Monsters, yeah. if I can spell. So, Monsters, Inc. really has no excuse. <laughs> no, because Monsters, Inc. didn't come out till after Toy Story 2. Yeah, but it came out after Bugs Life. So, Monsters, Inc. still has really good animation. It does have good animation. I'm not saying that, but compared to Cars... Caleb, I don't think you're getting this through your head. <laughs> cars came out three years after Monsters, Inc. Three or four. Dai, yai, yai. Juan Budo Abioso. It's from the Simpsons movie. Mm. No, Dude, okay, I was actually wrong. November 2nd, 2001. Came out in 2001? Yeah. And then Finding Nemo... Came out and oh shit! <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Finding Nemo's newer. <laughs> yeah, yep. Finding Nemo 2003. Shit. Two year difference though. Still though. Ha. Whatever. Eat. Go jump in a creek. I will. <laughs> and I'll enjoy it. All right. Incredibles versus Wally. Oh, Incredibles. Yep. Is that even a question? Because I liked Wally, but I don't think I would love it as most people do. This. Wally's hard for me to watch. Me too. Like, they when they thro started throwing in real people. Yeah. I was, was kind of like, ah, oh, I'm out of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I agree. So. I will say, Wally was freaking adorable. Oh, yeah. And Evo was cute too. Yeah, but the movie overall. Eh, yeah, it's better. Yeah. All right, Monsters U versus Finding Dory. This one's actually hard for me. I'm giving this to Dory. Yeah, I would have to, too. Even though I love Monsters University. Even though there's a big plot hole. And they even said, oh, we couldn't... We didn't see them meeting in elementary school, so we just decided to say, screw that, and just have meet in college. And John Lasser said that was okay, but still, in Monsters, Inc., they said that they've known each other since the fourth grade. Oh, that's a huge plot hole. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, when Mike... I didn't know that that was a controversy. Yeah, because in the first one, Mike's like, you've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. And they're walk when they walk out of the door. Out of the apartment, yeah. The grade is just what they call years in college. <laughs> yeah. But, but don't get me wrong, I love Monsters University. I, I actually really enjoy it. Yeah. All right, going back up to the top, up. Versus Toy Story 2. And I'm going to give this to Up, dude. Uh, this Toy Story 2 is my favorite Pixar movie. Well, I get that. But Up is better. Fine, I'll give it to Up. <laughs> this one should be... Actually, this one might be hard for you. Coco versus Toy Story 3. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, what are you going to say? I bet you're going with Toy Story 3. I I think I am. Oh. Actually. Yeah, I'm probably going to give it to Toy Story 3. I'm going to actually say the same thing, and it's only because I love... I don't know, like, I'm just a sucker for the Toy Story franchise, and the way that they had Andy grow up with actually 
our years. Like, they didn't just pick up kind of, like, right after the second one what they're doing with The Incredibles 2. Yeah, which, eh. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but just the, like, just watching the toys deal with are we getting thrown away? Is he taking us with him? Just, like, seeing that was, like, really, like, heartbreaking. And especially the part where, um, where the Green, Mar- Green Army guys are leaving and, uh, Sar- Sarge is like, um, it's been an honor serving with you. And he's like, good luck, folks. And then the other mm-hmm. one's just like, you're, you're gonna need it. You're like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> But do the part so Coco made me. Coco's great. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. I love Coco. Coco made me emo like not emotional, but it, it tugged at my heartstrings. Toy Story three destroyed. <laughs> yeah, me. I would have to agree. <laughs> when they were in the burner and Woody's like not he's the last one to give up. Yeah, he's the last one to close his eyes. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> You just wanted to hug your toys when you got <laughs> home from the theater. <laughs> yeah, so I'd, I'm going to have to go Toy Story 3. Yep. Alright. Ratatouille versus Inside Out. Shit. Yeah, it gets hard, dude. It does. <laughs> Especially because it's Pixar and I love them so much. <laughs> I'm going to give this to... Inside Out. Yeah, I think so too. I felt that the emotional story in Inside Out was a lot better than oh, yeah. Ratatouille. But I don't Ratatouille know if Ratatouille just... needed to be emotional, that's the thing. It wasn't. Yeah. Really. And it didn't need it... to be. But it I... was kind of a predictable thing. Which I was okay with. Like I love Ratatouille, but I still think Inside Out is a better made film even though I love Ratatouille but yeah I'll watch Ratatouille like a lot yeah I'll watch it but, all day same thing with Inside Out yeah but when it comes down to it Inside Out and we're gonna have a three way contest in here uh, let's just narrow it down Monsters Incorporated versus The Incredibles Same. And then, it, is that so? Let's do Incredibles versus Finding Dory. The Incredibles. Yeah, that was much of a contest. No, because <laughs> it's The Incredibles. Yeah, I think they covered a lot of themes in Incredibles that Finding Dory just really couldn't. Yeah. Oh, I just love that movie. All right. Man, I hope the sequel lives up to it. It better. <laughs> All right, toys. So let's do. Never mind. I was thinking of something. Up versus Toy Story three. Okay, I I get that the beginning of Up is very sad, and I get that you know it's very cool to see Russell and Carl go through this adventure to put. To get his house to Paradise Falls, but I'm sorry, I think Toy Story Three is better. I don't. Really? Really? Son of a bitch, <laughs> dude. I, my thoughts on this was an old man having difficulty letting go of his wife, mm. and when he finally was able to, yeah. To save Russell, just yes, the whole seven minutes of like nothing, or seven eight minutes of absolute like the beginning story, better than any Twilight movie ever. Well, yeah, duh. Yeah. Okay. But the ending is what got me, dude, because he had to choose between his wife, which he, which I think was symbolized by the house. Yes, I agree. And the life of this total stranger, and I think that he was finally able to be like, I can let you go. And then when the house was going down, it broke my heart, but I was just... <clears throat> yeah. Okay. No, I want to bring this up, because no, I agree with you. But 
Toy Story 3, we've grown, basically, we grew up with these characters. We grew up with these toys because Toy Story 3, not Toy Story 3, Toy Story came out with, was it 95? Mm-hmm. So, like, right when we were born. So, we were able to grow up with these characters and we were able to especially grow up with Andy. And so, seeing him basically, even though I think we were in junior high when it came out, yeah, I think we were in junior high, it was still cool to see Andy all grown up. And the biggest thing that I get what you're saying with Up at the end. But I'd have to disagree with you because I think the ending to Toy Story 3 is more powerful, especially when Andy says those words, thanks guys. And then you see the toys as he's driving off, get up and you hear just what he say, thanks partner. If or you're, sorry, so long partner. If you're thinking about the series as a whole... I'm thinking which, of just the movie, the way it handled it. Yeah, but you're still talking about the series as a whole regardless if you're talking about the one movie you're talking about the series that's not the allowed. trilogy this is bullshit <laughs> it's not allowed i'm talking about the individual movie but if you're thinking about it as a whole but yes toy you... story 3 had a huge emotional impact but how can you not that's the thing like just seeing these toy andy's story come full circle and come to an end because we need to think about this like filmmakers, Rose. We're, but we're trying most to, people would. No, we're trying to be objective about this. Okay, but most people like trilogies to be able to connect to the other ones and basically tell a whole story. They like pe- they like trilogies to be able to tell one full story that is not like, oh, well, here's the first, second, Well, was third. it one full no. story? If you think about it, it could be. Just chapters of this kid's life. Was it, though? I think so. I don't. Well, maybe you just don't know what you're talking about. Well, think about it like this. If you you remember the opening sequence to Toy Story 3. Yes. It was basically just Andy's imagination going wild, right? Which was awesome. Which is the exact same story that he was playing in the first one. Right? Yes. So basically the third one tried covering the first movie again. So... What do you mean so? Do you have something... So it was completely... Okay, that's what they kind of wanted to show, that like as a kid's kid gets older, his imagination if you're, grows. No, if you're thinking about a trilogy that you cannot... I can put Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 2 in the same pile. Toy Story 3, I feel, kind of is a comfort blanket around Toy Story 1. It's yeah. kind of... It, yeah, but like think about it like with your favorite trilogy, Planet of the Apes. It, you know, it's actually I would one actually movie have... split into three parts. Yes. But I would actually have to say that Toy Story is actually my favorite trilogy. I'd actually have to Okay. Say Whatever. <laughs> it's close second. Okay, so But no, I The Planet of the Apes feels like one movie split into three parts. Okay. Toy Story does not feel like three movies split into okay but three. if you take or out it that feels beginning. like three movies if you take out the be- that beginning does it feel like it like if you were just to open when um basically they're in the toy box and like they're just like kind of like breathing heavy and then they try to get andy to play with them but it turns out the plan doesn't work would that be basically what you're thinking that is a lot more what I'm thinking about. But if you're thinking about Toy Story 3 as its own movie, they do do really well on making you feel super crazy emotions. But the impact isn't as strong unless you think about the other two movies. But, okay, that's... I don't get why you can't think about the other two movies, because if you because don't... I think it's unfair to up. <laughs> I don't think so, because you wouldn't be emotionally invested in the toys if you haven't seen the first two. That's fair. This is just the... F- I mean, yeah, thank goodness Up never got a sequel, and I pray it doesn't, because it doesn't need one. But Up is just one... I feel like they could do something with Russell... I don't but think they could do anything with I think Carl. I would, like, I'll take, like, a short about yeah. Russell, but not a full-length movie. Yeah. 
I mean, they could do spin-offs, I think, with, like, yeah, Doug. Like, yeah, kind of like what they did with the Toy Story franchise. Like, they're doing, uh, they've done, um, what is it, like, Party Time Rags and stuff like that, to where, like, it's when they're with Bonnie, but, like, the well, way no, they are actually making a Toy Story 4. So, you, wait, let me get this straight, though. What you're doing is you're you're talking about Toy Story three as a whole. The toy, st- you're you're using the emotional impact that Toy Story three had using the other two movies. A little bit. So I don't know about you, but knowing that they're going to make a Toy Story four kind of ruins the Im- impact yeah, that Toy Story three has. <laughs> All I have to do is bring up Toy Story 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it the up. Yes. Well, that was a waste of 10 minutes. Probably. <laughs> Alright, Inside Out versus The Incredibles. The Incredibles. I'm serious. Uh, I'll give it. Okay. All right. Up versus Incredibles. Up versus Incredibles. The Incredibles. I'm sorry. I think The Incredibles is Pixar's best movie. Even though Toy Story 2 is my favorite, with the, in this time slot, the word time slot, in this, what's this called again? How are we doing? Bracket. Bracket, thank you. The Incredibles is the clear winner, in my opinion. Okay. I'll give that. But um, bum, but um, but I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> Lion King versus Frozen. Dude, we're not gonna agree. We're always gonna have to settle this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll go get real. Okay. Love of my life, we need you to just set, settle uh, an argument. Frozen versus Lion King. What? Are you serious? Thank you, Brielle. <laughs> I love Frozen, but Lion King. Whatever, no one asked you. Brielle, <laughs> you were awesome. <laughs> That is not nice, you a hole. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, that settles our argument. Were you on Frozen? Yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> I was making a really hard. <laughs> he I was. Really strong fight. This. Pixar Toy Story wins. Not like Toy Story first, but Toy Story as a whole. Uh, and then Disney Lion King wins. Well, he, gonna be really he changed my but... mind with. Up versus Toy Story three. Toy Story three. Toy Story. <laughs> With Toy Story three, because he brought in Toy Story four and how that kind of ruins how they ended it, because they ended it perfectly. Toy Story four is not part of this. Just Damn yeah, but stuff. he's talking about the he's talking about the collection of movies as a whole. But Toy Story four is not out yet. Because we he's. Don't know you want to come discuss it. this with That's us? the thing. He said I can't count Toy Story and Toy Story two leading up to Toy Story three because that is not fair to up but I'm but at the same time I'm thinking you have to see those two to be to understand where who the characters are you have to be emotionally into them I'm like losing words here I can't do this but if we're talking about the individual movie I feel that up did a better job getting you emotionally invested in the characters no one asked you (laughs) (laughs) Hey, if you're talking about single movies, up. But if you're talking about Toy Story as a whole, Toy Story. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. We're trying to objectively decide the, the best the movie. Edition of Buzz and Woody out there on the shelf. So shut up. <laughs> yes. Wrong person to ask. So we're giving it to Lion King. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Braille. <laughs> All right. Lion King versus Beauty and the Beast. Shit. Lion King. Really. Lion King. What? I actually Dude, give it to Beauty up. and the Beast. I mean, me too. 
I mean, I hate to disagree with the wife. <laughs> but that uh, Beauty and that the Beast, caught me dude. off guard. She chooses the Lion dude, she King. She freaking loves Lion King. I don't blame her. But like, like as far as like songs and story, I don't. I like the Beauty, the Beauty, Beauty and the Beast a lot more. Same. I'm giving that to Beauty and the Beast. Do we seriously have to decide between Beauty and the Beast and The Incredibles? <laughs> yes, we do. Shit. Beauty and the Beast versus The Incredibles. What are you leaning towards? Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, me too. So we're going to claim Beauty, Beauty and the, the Beast, Beast as the best... best Disney Pixar movie or best Disney and well that makes no sense because Disney Pixar movie because Beauty and the Beast isn't Pixar so shouldn't this be split that Beauty and the Beast is the best Disney movie but The Incredibles is the best Pixar movie yeah but Disney and Pixar are so tight no it doesn't count I'm sorry what no dude that's what we need to do well then um can I see this really quickly (laughs) (laughs) ripped it up guys no I'm just kidding um, no, Pixar and Disney are completely different. I know, but they're just so close knit, dude. It's okay, fine. It's Disney kind of like a. Okay, we won't do this anymore. Okay. But Next time we we'll it, just do an either Disney or an, a Pixar. Okay. But since we did it, fine. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. So, Beauty and the Beast wins our top movie in the Disney Pixar. Second place was Incredibles. And since we need to decide a third place, Lion King versus Up. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably have to go with Up. Really? I was going to go really? with Lion King. King. We suck at agreeing. <laughs> we suck. Um, but yeah. I'll give it to Up. Really? Yeah, I'll yeah. give it to Up. Okay. Alright. So we got Beauty and the Beast in first place. Incredibles in second. And then Up as our third place with Disney and Pixar. But if we're just talking about Disney, then it would be Beauty and the Beast first, Lion King second, and then Little Mermaid. And if we're talking just Pixar, we have Incredibles as our top, Up as our second place, and then, oh shit, we need to decide a third place for... Wouldn't it be Inside Out? Nope, it'd be... We need to decide Toy Story 3 versus Inside Out. Shit. (laughs) I think the emotional impact was the same on the two movies. Really? And I'm talking Toy Story 3 as its own individual movie. I think it's bullshit that you were pulling that card. (laughs) No, because that's how we need to do this, Rose. We can't be biased based on, like, the whole... We need to decide as the movie, as an individual unit. I hate you. Inside out? Yeah. Knew it. You suck. Alright. So on the Pixar side, Incredibles is number one. Up is second place. And then third place is Inside Out. Followed really closely behind Toy Story 3. Like barely. It barely wins. Yeah. But apparently we decided that Disney is better than Pixar. (laughs) <laughs> but that hurts your soul it a little bit. It does hurt my soul. <laughs> I'm sorry, John Lasseter. And Pete Doctor. Do you love Lee these Unkrich. showdown episodes? I don't. I do. They're fun. For you. Just kidding. Now these are fun. Alright. So I think that concludes our little bonus episode. Our actually not so little bonus episode. Yeah, it was 50 like minutes. an hour. Damn. Um, yeah, so if you liked this 
showdown episode we're going to be doing more in the future um probably just versus yeah. episodes like we'll do ones with like superhero ones we'll do horror movie icons horror movie icons oh dude I'm I'm actually because even though they've had a movie I want to do a Freddy vs. Jason We can well that would be in the horror movie icons, and then we just decide who oh, would sorry. win in a killing. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Contest. <laughs> sorry, I'm thi- I'm. I don't know why I got the mentality that we just focus on two. Yeah, I'm like, things. well, so it's a versus episode. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. <laughs> so we will do that, and until then, this has been a Ombro's showdown. And an All Bros mm-hmm. mini episode. So if you like this, uh, you can rate us on iTunes and review us. And you can also uh, subscribe to us on Google Play and Stitcher and anywhere else you can possibly think of. Uh, we are on YouTube. Um, we have a channel. Uh, where We do have a channel. We do have a channel <laughs> where we're going to be releasing any videos that we make. And our I'm working. I'm working on videos. editing uh, our previous hunt right now, so that should be out by Sunday. Sweet. And then we are on Facebook and Twitter, Facebook and Twitter, at the All Bros, or you can email us at the All Bros channel at gmail dot com, and let us know if you have any other showdowns you want us to do. So, deuces. Deuces.